look what I got again. And by again, I mean the dark revised SHB head. More specifically, I think this is the same head that I sent back. Okay, so after the new versus old comparison video, because of the defects on the new head, I contacted the place that I got it from to see if I could exchange it. And they said I could, so that's what I did. But it seemed that they may have set me back the same exact head I returned unopened even. You can see right here, the staples have already been removed from this side and it is taped shut. Unlike the other side, which you don't have to trust me on, there's no tape on that end. It has not been opened, there's staples like it comes from dark. In fact, I was looking at the tape and it doesn't appear to be you know, a second layer or cut. This appears to be the same, this is the same way I taped the head when I sent it back to them. You can see here on the top, I taped my label sideways. The original label was taped long wide and I peeled that off because you know my information's on there, obviously. And they peeled up my old, my label, my return label off, and put another label on here, and sent it back to me. So let's open it up and see if it's the same head. And it appears I was right. It looks like it is the same head. But before we get to that, and I show you why I think it's the same head, I just want to mention real quick. I sent this head back a few weeks ago, so. I really thought it would be a replacement head because it has been a few weeks. So, oh, and you can see for yourself here, the staples are intact. I only accidentally folded this, but it is still well attached. And all these staples are intact, so that it was only opened on that end by me the first time. Well, and the second time now. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at the head. You can see right here is that chip in the hole hole. Right here is a scratch on the deck. Lighting's a little different in here, so I'm gonna get a better angle. Come on here, camera. There we go. And you know, I'll, I'll pull up the clips from the other video and we'll compare them. Here in a coolant port, a chip. The biggest defect I found was this scratch right here on the deck. And it, it catches my nail. You can see down in here, there is oil on the guides from when I, you know, checked the seats. And if you look at this seat over here, you can see traces of Sharpie around it. Oh, and I think this, this stain was on the head too before. I'll have to check the video. Although I don't remember this dent on this side. Maybe I missed that, but... You know, I remember these ones, but not this one, so we'll see. Anyways, looks like I got a call to make, and then we'll pick up the video from there. Almost forgot, you can see right here, it has the same spark plug hole defects, right there on this cylinder, then skip a cylinder, and that cylinder, same cylinder as the last head, because it is the same head. Good news, I get to send the head back again. <laughs> so I called up the warehouse the other day and they told me that that head was marked as defective and they don't know how it got back on the shelf. Obviously it did because it's here. So they told me that they would send me another label to send it back and I've already got that. And that they would drop ship another new head from dark so we'll see i mean this head originally was supposed to be drop shipped from dark but it ended up being sent to them then to me so <laughs> my confidence isn't really <laughs> very good with they're going to get this to me the new head to me anytime soon meanwhile i figured i would use the head to make a few clips before I send it back. So I dug out an eBay 2.0 head and an OG head for, like I said, some clips in some future videos. 
There is something I can show you here real quick that I noticed. Let's turn this. I found this interesting right here, as you can see, the guys that Dart use are nice and thick, whereas the guys in the eBay heads, well even on the 2.0 over here, are thinner. And when you look at the top over here, they appear to be about the same <laughs> as the darts. You see right there. So I don't know if the, the eBay heads use like a, a stepped guide, you know, or what. I mean, I'm not, you know, a machinist or nothing, but I just found that was interesting and I guess kind of neat. So, Dart uses better guides. Another thing you can notice real quick is the chambers. Even though, you know, this is a 200cc head and this is a 180cc head, they both have 64 cc chambers and you can tell they are pretty much almost the same and there's minor differences like right here for the plug on the dart head compared to an ebay head with a little more thready to grind out but the general shape is the same and it's a good size it's a good design chamber anyways let's wrap this up i'm going to keep the head pry for like I said, I gotta make a few more clips and then I'll send it back. I'm not sure when I get the new head, so I kind of wanted to check out this one because, I mean, for all I know, it could end up in limbo and I just get refunded. And this may be my last chance to even look at the Dark SHP. New revised casting. There it is. Let's wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Keep it real. Oh, before I go, one more thing. Let me know in the comments if you want to see when I get the actual replacement head. You know, me checking that out and inspecting that one. Obviously, I won't, you know, won't be too redundant, but I mean, I mean, this is just too redundant in general to show that head. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments.